We are here for our weekly press conference with head coach Zach Zedrick. Coach, at the Wolf Run Invitational, you said the team played the hard things well and the easy things poorly. Will you expand on this, and how will you improve upon this at practice? Well, a place like Wolf Run, it's a really, really hard golf course. So there's a lot of situations where you could get in a little bit of trouble off the tee or uh, maybe with your approach shot into the green, and, and all of a sudden you're – in a situation where rather than having, you know, 20, 25 foot birdie putt, you're 40 yards from the hole in kind of a bad spot. And the best you can do is is hit it to 10 or 15 feet and you've got a 10 or 15 footer for par. And there were a lot of times where we did a really good job of that. It's something we've been focused on at home. Um, and it's, it's, it's a really critical piece to playing well at a at a place that's as hard as Wolf Run. Um, the easy things, um, hitting the ball on the strong side of the hole, uh, taking advantage of you know short irons into par fours or um, being around a par five and two where you can make a birdie. Um, you know, those kind of opportunities, uh, we just didn't do a very good job taking advantage of them. And the big thing is, is you know, physically in this game, it's uh, – you know, your, your golf swing literally changes a little bit from day to day. And there are days physically, fundamentally, where things are really good, and there are days where it's not very good. And uh, But the one thing you control is your mentality and your attitude. And there were some times uh, where the mentality and the attitude slipped a little bit. And it only takes one or two shots at a place like Wolf Run for it to turn into three or four holes. And if we're going to be any good this year, we just can't do that. Um, so it's really um, uh, doing a better job of, I guess, the quote-unquote easier shots and uh, just being in control of our mentality. And that's something we've already started addressing you know, in practice this week. So. What players will be participating at the Inverness Intercollegiate? Uh, it's going to be the same lineup. So we'll have uh, Patrick Flavin and Brian Orr and Greg Conrad and then uh, Callahan Elsey and um, Josh Cushing in the lineup. And then we actually have an individual competing this week, and it'll be uh, Cam Solomon making his uh, debut. What do you anticipate to be the biggest challenge at the Inverness course, and how do you plan on overcoming that challenge? It's a course, it's, it's, it's a different design than Wolf Run, but it's similar in difficulty. So we're going to have a, the, there are a lot of good opportunities to make birdies at Inverness, especially if you're um, in play off the tee, just like Wolf Run, uh, in good position in the fairway. Um, so we're going we're gonna to have, you know, an immediate opportunity to improve on some things we didn't do a very good job of. Um, but like I said, it's a real emphasis for us in practice this week. Um, the guys are pretty enthusiastic about um, working on those things. Uh, I think we got off to a good start yesterday after the off day on Monday, and uh, guys are, are, are pretty fired up to, to kind of, I guess, rectify it this weekend. What kind of competition will you be facing? Uh, the field's going to be even better. Uh, if you look at the rankings uh, in the field last week was really good. Um, I think that there, if um, I have to think back for a second, I want to say there are at least three or four teams in the field that uh, made it to the NCAA championship, which is only 30 teams, and then another five or six that participated in regionals. So uh, this is one of the best fields we're going to see all year uh, on a golf course that's hosted, I think, six major championships. So um, if you're, you know, 18 to 22 years old and you're thinking about playing professional golf, this is an opportunity that you relish. So uh, we're pretty excited about it.